Hi, everyone. We continue to put as much shalom as we can into uh, our Shabbat as our uh, hearts continue to uh, ache with what's happening in Eretz Israel, in uh, the land of Israel, um, and thinking of all of these days of hostages still in the hands of Hamas. I hope that it continues not to be lost on us every week as we sit down and reflect on our week and move into what we hope will be a beautiful Shabbat, the complexities that exist for those who, of, of course, are uh, in the hands of Hamas themselves and, of course, their families. We do, as we, uh, of course, each week continue, like I mentioned, to put as much shalom as we can uh, into into each Torah portion. And this week, this week, we start a brand new book, actually. We begin the fourth book of five of the Torah. We move into the book of Bemidbar, the book of Numbers. And it is quite a fabulous book, I must say. If I had to pick a favorite of the books, other than Genesis, since it has so many of the cool stories and the cool connections to our forefathers and foremothers, I would say it's in this book where the Israelites become an Am. They become a true nation. They start to really figure out how to move away from Egypt move away from their lives in Egypt and think about what it means to be the nation, the people of Israel. And so it is also the first book uh, in, in, in a whole book. La last book was the book of Leviticus, the book of Vaikra. That book, the Israelites actually, traditionally they say, do not move at all, actually. They are camped the entire time because they are learning about all of the structures of ritual. And it is in this book, as that we start, that we start to move forward again. And so the image behind me are the labeled flags, tribes of Israel. It's how the Torah portion really starts by uh, recapping the, the structure of all of the uh, different, different tribes and where they sit around you can kind of see like the uh, the 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 tent of meeting and where uh, where 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 um, Moses and Aaron uh, sat and where the where the holy of, of holies was and so that's kind of the the structure. What I like for us to think about this this week uh, in the, in our Torah portion is not just the Torah portion but the book itself, as as you as we've talked about before. The name of the first Torah portion of every book is the name of the book. So we are in the book, and we're in the book of Numbers. And the Torah portion this week is called Numbers. We are in the uh, in the, the other the the uh, the Hebrew word Bemidbar is the name of the book. So the Torah portion this week is called Bemidbar in the desert. And I want us to think about the transformation the Israelites go through, and they have to do it in the desert. A lot of explanations are that it was away from everything else. It was a chance for them to grow together. It was a chance for them to be just among themselves, to develop into a nation, to transform themselves, to do so. And so on this Shabbat, I'd like for us to think about transformations, transfers, uh, something that we're, that we've gone through or maybe are going through plan to go through and the preparations that we want and by the, the way that we the, the preparations that we want and need to get through these transitions the best way that we can that by the way uh an example is that the israelites do this together so if you're going through a transformation going through a change or or plan to or uh, that that the best way to do that is with the love and the support of the people literally surrounding you. Uh, and so I would love for us to I would love for us 
to think about that. I would love for us to think about the transformations and then by our own personal transformation, also hopefully connect to the transformations that are happening for the Israelites in our in our Torah portion this week. The our service, of course, is just around the corner. It is uh, at uh, six thirty, like it always is. Just a few hours from now, a few moments from from now, actually, and then uh, tomorrow morning, eight thirty will be our. Uh, Torah uh, service and discussion. Uh, I believe it is going to be next week that we are also transitioning into our summer system. So still 6.30 on Friday nights, just going to be in the chapel. Uh, and then uh, I believe starting next Saturday, uh, we are going to be uh, having our Shabbat morning service and study at 9 rather than 8.30. So everyone gets to sleep an extra half an hour. Let's continue to put as much shalom as we can into our Shabbat. I look forward to seeing you soon.